Is James this heroic figure, a figure who is reviving Scotland, who is identifying Scotland with himself, who is creating a kingship which is relatively rich, which is clear about its authority over the kingdom and is, is built around the, um, the good government of Scotland? Or is he a king who is uh, ruthlessly crushing any potential opposition with the aim of, of simply acquiring possessions. The king was well disposed towards the acquisition of other people's goods as one. Well. The thing about James really is that he's a mass of contradictions and that's what's interesting about him as a dramatic character really. So um, he really comes into his own and you start seeing his power towards the end of Act One after really not being sure what kind of man he is. He seems to be a poet, a warrior, a lawgiver. Um, and these priorities are kind of jostling for attention within him. And for my purposes, I thought it is quite interesting to imagine the character of this man who is in a sense trying to make a society where there's more chance of peace, there's more chance of law and order, as a kind of ideal, as an intellectual ideal that he wants to, to bring into Scotland. Um, and how do you do that? in a country that's got used to a certain level of lawlessness and when a certain type of person, the guy with the big sword and the protection racket, has got used to being the most powerful force in society, when you then also have that thing of how Scottish are you anyway? So he's a man trying to do the right thing. Um, it's just he's in a context where he doesn't quite know what the right thing to do is. And what I've been exploring with James, who's playing James, uh, helpfully enough, um, was what parts of himself he's trying to button down, to repress, to, to, to keep away um, from kind of public notice and um, the impossibility of doing that. And what, at what juncture does a darker, more forceful, more aggressive side come out when he's attempting to be a man of rationality, of language, of uh, law and order? That's for me where the, the drama of James's character is the thing of the expat Scot, the idealist, the political idealist and the lover. And those three things cannot be reconciled without conflict. People give him such a hard time. I absolutely love him. I think if I was him in his position, I would do the exact same as what he did. You'll have to come and see it to find out what he did. But yeah, but he... You know, he has this reputation, he's got divided through history as, you know, is he a king for the people and the common man or is he um, a tyrant? I think he's marvellous.